Hey guys, Cigar Bob is back with you today. It's been a little while since I've uh, done any cigar reviews. <clears throat> it's been a uh, hectic past two weeks at work, uh, you know, trying to get stuff done and uh, just been very busy, uh, you know, at work and stuff. So uh, I got a lot of cigars I've been wanting to review and uh, today uh, I'm going to do a really cool review here on this Cordoban Morales. This is a, <clears throat> this is a Clave Cubana special edition 2013 this is given to me by uh one of my uh, brothers of the leaf shane massick really appreciate the cigar buddy um <clears throat> i've never seen this before and i did a little research on this uh and it says that this company really uh makes these cigars uh exclusively for uh, golfers uh which is one thing i like to do i don't get to do enough of it but um supposedly this is a nicaraguan puro 6x56 it's got a beautiful box press um, I believe it's got a uh, 98, 1998 Criollo uh, Nicaraguan wrapper on this. And uh, beautiful box press. I mean, this is just really, really pretty cigar. Look at this. Got a nice little pigtail on the top of the cigar here. If you can see that good. That's really got a really nice earthy uh, reddish brown color to the wrap. Let me hold this up here for you guys can see this. Got music notes on the band. Very interesting design. Like I said, six by 56. Not sure of the price point on these. Um, I looked it up a little bit, and what I've seen is, uh, if you can find them, they're about $16 a stick, which is uh, not really cheap. Um, not crazy expensive, but not cheap by any means. Um, so we're going to do a cut and light on this today and uh, see how it is. So uh, let's go ahead and cut this and light this. And uh, I just had dinner a few minutes ago, so <clears throat> I've cleared my palate pretty well. And... Uh, I'm, I'm really expecting this to be a really nice medium full cigar here. Everything I've read said it was, uh, you know, medium to full. So we'll see what we're getting out of it. Very breezy here today. Has not been a very nice weekend. It's been very cloudy. Rain off and on. Uh, today the clouds finally let up a little bit, <clears throat> and it seems like the uh, seems like the weather's uh, clearing up. But uh, it's overall it's very beautiful out here right now. Just a little breezy, and uh, you know, just beautiful. That's probably in the high 60s, low 70s. Great time for a cigar review. And thanks again, Shane Massick, for this cigar. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to hook you up with some good sticks here soon. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and do a, a nice nose exhale on this and see what we're getting out of this stick so far. Uh, you know, I had to make sure I lit this thing very well, as I always do. And, uh, you know, 6x56, nice box press cigar. Just a very interesting looking uh, wrapper, especially the color. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Good bit of pepper and uh, good bit of pepper and cedar on the uh, nose exhale right off the bat. Not overpowering, but um, very easy draw and tons of smoke. I mean, this thing is just very easy draw. It's been sitting in my humidor for about two weeks, and uh, you know, <clears throat> when I do a review on stuff, I usually like to. Uh, a little bit of the wrappers flaking a little bit right here. I'm not sure how long my buddy had it before he gave it to me. But um, I keep my humidor right at about 68 to 70% humidity. So, uh, you know, overall this thing should be humidified pretty good. Uh, but man, this is a, a very nice 6x56. Very easy draw. And uh, just very tasty on the palate, guys. Very tasty. Let's do, a, let's do another nose exhale. God, this is a very good cigar. Interesting. I have never heard of this company. Um, you know, doing a little research on them. Very cool that they uh, produce cigars specifically for uh, golfers in mind. Um, I know a lot of people that golf, they tend to put their cigars down a lot, which is very interesting that their 
Cordoba Morales um, is making quality, quality cigars like this um, for golfing. I'm not sure what the uh, motive behind that was. <clears throat> I know when you golf a lot, it's very hard to sit back and actually smoke a really good cigar without having to put it down a thousand times. You know, especially when you're playing 18 holes. I mean, you're constantly getting out of the golf cart, you know, constantly putting the cigar down. But whatever they're doing, they're doing it right. This is just a very good cigar. And uh, I like the fact that it's a Nicaraguan Puro. Uh, Nicaraguans are usually my favorite cigars. They tend to be, most of the time, they tend to be the fuller bodied cigars. And uh, the fact that this is a 98 leaf, this is just immaculate. Just a beautiful construction here, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with this cigar right now. Uh, especially due to the fact I've never heard of them. And it's putting out so much, uh, you know, smoke and just the ease of the draw is just incredible, guys. Let's do another nose XL. Nice, earthy, light pepper now. And um, still getting a little bit of cedar. Also, I'm getting a little bit of, um, almost like a little bit of a red pepper in there. It's very interesting. Kind of hard to gauge what um, what else I'm picking up so far. Even a slight hint of uh, cream on the wrap, which is very, uh, very interesting as well. But overall, man, you couldn't ask for a better day to do a cigar review. And, uh, you know, like I said in the start of this video, it's been, uh, you know, at least a week and a half, two weeks since I've done a cigar review. I've been so busy. And, uh, you know, I've gotten a lot of cigars in the mail that I haven't had a chance to review yet, which is uh, coming up this week. I should be a lot less busy. And, uh, you know, when I get off work, I usually like to do at least one cigar review a day. So uh, I probably got at least eight or ten cigars that I got to review. Uh, so they'll be coming out, you know, probably this week. I'll probably get most of them done. But uh, overall, man, this is just, this is a very good cigar, guys. If you can find one of these, um, <clears throat> I would go ahead and try one. Special Edition 2013, I'm not sure how easy it is to get your hands on this particular series. But, uh, you know, if you can find one, snap it up. I mean, this is, you know, something I've never heard of, but yet it's so good. I mean, it's just a great stick. I love cigars that draw like this. I love the box press design. Um, I'm not too big on huge ring gauge cigars. 56 isn't too bad. Usually anything 60 and above I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but this is just a great size cigar for getting tons of smoke. And a nice medium, you know, medium bodied uh, aftertaste on the palate and through the nose. Um, it's running a little bit on me even though I, I lit it pretty evenly. It could be due to the, to the wind. Um, or could be due to the construction internally, but, uh, you know, no major issues at all. And, you know, just a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of the cracking on the wrap right here, which could be due to, uh, you know, being shipped here, you know, from uh, my buddy, which is a few States away. And, uh, you know, just, just the age of the, the wrapper, you know, overall. So let's do another nose exhale off this thing and get another, uh, some more ideas of what we're getting out of this stick. 